guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Lindsay and I am one half of the duo that is friends till the book ends. And you might be saying, Lindsay, where is your better half, Danielle? Well, we decided that we were going to film this TBR separately because we both have our own individual book collections. And if we both went through how many physical books were on our TBR, we would be here forever. We wouldn't be able to leave. So Danielle is doing her own separate video. So watch out for that on Friday. That'll be coming to you guys. But today I will be going through all of the books that I own that are on my physical TBR that I have not read. And the number quite frankly is shocking. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Um, I have piles of books around me. You're going to see piles disappear over here behind me from my cart. Um, I basically just have books everywhere um, that I have not read yet. So you will see them disappear as the video continues. I'm not going to be going to be giving a synopsis because this video would be seven hours long and nobody has time for that. So I'm just going to go through, tell you the book, who wrote it, move on from there. And then at the end, um, last time I counted, I had about 120 books that I own that I haven't read, but uh, the number has unfortunately grown since. The first group of books, however, that I wanted to talk about are books that I own personally that I do have physical copies of, but I have lent out to family and friends. Um, so I'll just pop up a picture of them. So the first one is The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Penner, Anna Kay by Jenny Lee, A Song of Wraiths and Ruins by Roseanne A. Brown, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab, The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna, the Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware. The Couple Next Door by Sherry Lapina. Okay, so I think those are all of the physical books that I own but are not currently residing in my house. So let's just get to the rest of them. So I have If I Never Met You by Very McFarlane. Her name is not said how it's spelled. I have the la uh, three books in the, um, what is this called? Keeper of the Lost Cities series. So I have Everblaze, I have Never Seen, and I have Lodestar, all by Shannon Messenger. Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by, who are you by? Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. The Switch by Beth O'Leary. Eight Perfect Murders by Peter Swanson. Angels and Demons by Dan Brown. The Dark Days Club by Allison Goodman. Warcross by Marie Lou. Serious Moonlight by Jen Bennett. The Invincible Summer of Juniper Jones by Davin... McQueen, Dune by Frank Herbert, Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon, One to Watch by Kate Stamen London, Great Pretender by Susanna Kalin, Kristen Hanna's The Great Alone, Rebel Queen by Michelle Moran, The Last House Guest by Megan Miranda, The Gilded Wolves by Roshni Chakshi, The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter, Arts of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow, The Goldfinch by Donna Tart, We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal, The Downstairs Girl by Stacey Lee, The Black Kids by Christina Hammonds Reed, Stay Gold by Tolby McSmith, The First Sister by Lyndon A. Lewis, River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy, Lucy Foley, The Guest List, Tease Violent Delights by Chloe Gong, Lore by Alexandra Bracken, The Ravens by Cass Morgan and Danielle Page, City of Brass by S.A. Shakaborty, Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller, Vicious by V.E. Schwab, Sky Without Stars by Jessica Brody and Joanne Rendell, Jade City by Fonda Lee, House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Clune, Truth Witch by Susan Denard, Wind Witch by Susan Dennard, Denard, Dennard, I'll say it three different times, and Blood Witch by Susan Dennard, Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Mass, Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare, The Book Thief by Marcus Zuzak, The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson, Night Books by J.A. White, The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson, Baby Teeth by Zoe Stage, Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins, American Royals by Catherine McGee, My Lady Jane by Cynthia Han, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows, There's Something About Sweetie by Sandia Menon, Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, Bone Gap by Laura Ruby, Like a Love Story by Abdi Nazemian, The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson, Watching You by Lisa Jewell, To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han, Pride and Premeditation by Tears of Price, The Bone Shard Daughter by Andrea Stewart, Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa, the Library of the Unwritten by A.J. Hackwith, Frankly in Love by David Yoon, Fireborn by Rosaria Munda, Yolk by Mary H.K. Choi, Long May She Rain by Rhiannon Thomas, Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro, The Troop by Nick Cutter, The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby Waxman, Steel Crow Saga by Paul Kruger, The Bright and the Pale by Jessica Rubinkowski, Anxious People by Frederick Bachman, 
The Fire Keeper's Daughter by Angeline Bully, People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry, I Have the Binti Trilogy Bind Up, I Have Not Read Home, or The Night Masquerade by Denny Okorfor, The Humans by Matt Haig, The Poppy Were from R.F. Kuang, Aurora Rising by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman, Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa, The Bone Houses by Emily Lloyd-Jones, The Night Swim by Megan Golden, Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Groudon. The amount of dust that I have stirred up is disturbing. The Ten Thousand Doors of January by Alex E. Harrow. A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkness. A Rogue of One's Own by Evie Dunmore. Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson. What You Wish For by Catherine Center. The Murder at the Vicarage and Death on the Nile by Agatha Christie. If I'm Being Honest by Emily Wiberly and Austin Siegeman Broca. The Martian by Andy Weir. One by One by Ruth Ware. Ghosted by Rosie Walsh. Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis. Miss Born by Brandon Sanderson. The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. The Cane Chronicles by Rick Riordan. So that is The Red Pyramid, Throne of Fire, and Serpent Shadow. To Sleep in the Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini. A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. Kingdom of the Wicked by Carrie Maniscalco. Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. This Tender Land by William Kent Kruger. The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison. The Underground Railroad by Colson Whitehead. Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. The Wave Kings by Brandon Sanderson. The Splendid and the Vile by Eric Larson. Fair to You by Sylvia Day. Accidentally Engaged by Farrah Heron. A Leaf by Crystal Smith. Angel Fall by Susan E. How the Garcia Girls Lost Their Accents by Julia Alvarez. Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch. Sissy by Jacob Tobiah. Woman Before Wallace by Bryn Turnbull. Anna Holidays by Christina Lauren. Amari and the Night Brothers by B.B. Alston. Love is a Revolution by Renee Watson. Poison Study by Maria V. Snyder. Geekerella by Ashley Poston. Wings of Ebony by J.L. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Monday's Not Coming by Tiffany D. Jackson. Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyon. Fate of the Fallen by Kel Cade. All right, guys, so I think that is all the physical books on my TBR. Let me go ahead and count them, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so after counting all of the books that I own that I have not read, I own 135 books that I have not read. Oh my gosh, I forgot some. Hold the phone. Okay, so I forgot that I had books on my uh, shelves up here, uh, but I also have A Court of Silver Flames by Sarah J. Matt. Bad Feminist by Roxanne Gay, Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim, Woven in Moonlight by Isabella Banya, and Love Boat Taipei by Abigail Heng Wen. Okay, so that brings the real total to 140 books. Oh wait, I didn't even count the ones from the beginning. I have five books out from the beginning that I don't physically have with me, but I do own that I lent out to family and friends, which brings the real real total to 150 books exactly, which is oddly very pleasing to me. Um, so 150 books that I need to read before I can not feel bad about myself because this is shameful. Um, I don't, I do own, you know, a fair amount of books, but the majority of the books that I own are unread and I keep buying more books instead of just reading the ones that are already on my shelf. So I need to stop, but keep a lookout because Danielle and I will be going book shopping um, in the early parts of May, so you will probably see a come shopping with me slash book haul video coming to you, uh, you know, early to mid-May, where I will accumulate even more books. But it is my goal to, in, over the next couple of months, to stop buying as many after we go book shopping, and to really, you know, not take out books from the library, and to just really focus on the books that I own here. So, 150 books is what I need to read so I don't feel bad about myself. Um, let me know if you guys are book hoarders like I am. Make sure to check out Danielle's video that is coming to you on Friday. Um, thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye!